Hello again, welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for joining us. Today we're in the polytunnel and we're thinking about harvesting our chilli peppers. We've got a lovely crop of chilli peppers in here and today we're going to really harvest the ones that we've got left. Nadji's helping me. Here, here. Look at these. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Those are nice, aren't they? Yes. Lovely. It's really useful, this. Used for cooking. Like that. As use recipes. We've used a lot so far. These are ones that we haven't yet harvested. Because of the frost coming, because it's getting cold at night, We've decided that we are going to do a really big harvest today. We're going to take them inside and we're going to think about ways in which we're going to preserve our chilli peppers. But to begin with, we're harvesting. Yes, that's right. Oh, look at that bread. Show them. Mm. Harvest a few of those in there as well. Here? Yeah. Sort of spicy one, I think. Mm -hmm. Wow. Chilies, chilies, more chilies. Make you feel warm if it's winter. <laughs> Not yet winter, though. Here, here. One bunch of them. Oh my god. Lovely chili pepper. Okay, we're going to stop now and carry on off camera. You can see that we've already harvested quite a lot. We're going to carry on and come back to you in a minute or two. We've finished our harvesting for the moment and now we're going to share with you how we try to keep our plants alive during the winter. We try to overwinter our chilli plants. Now some of these that we've finished harvesting I'm actually going to start digging up because we're going to put them into pots and we're going to take them into the garage, a nice frost free environment to try and keep them alive during the winter. So this first one I've already made some I've started digging around it. I'm now going to carry on and I've actually dug this plant up. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it into one of these pots that we've got just here. Now I'm going to do two more before I actually do anything else to them. So there's a second one here. We're going to dig this one up and we're going to put it into this pot. There's already compost down in the bottom of each pot. I'm going to go on to a third one here. Again, we're digging it up and we're going to put it into the pot. Now we're going to take these into the garage and we're going to try and keep them alive during the winter so that we've got a really strong start with them next year. Now we're not going to take them in how they are. What we normally do, we trim them down quite a bit. So if we were to start at this one over here, we would actually trim off quite a few of the branches of the plant. So we're going to take them down probably about like that. What we normally do is we try to trim the leaves off as well. This is just our way of doing it. Different people will say different things. This is the way that we've always done it. We're just sharing these ideas with you. So we're just taking off the leaves. Taking the leaves away. Look at that basic shape 
I'm reasonably pleased with, I think. So now I'm going to put some compost in. Like so, I think. And we will then do the same with all the other ones that we're going to take in. And we'll take them into the garage and we will try to keep them alive during the winter. In the garage it will be warm. There's a central heating boiler in there. It's going to keep it above freezing. Going to keep it in quite a nice dark position in the garage as well. And hopefully they will stay alive during the winter. And we'll be able to plant them out again early next year. We should have a really early start. Now the one we're not going to take them all in. Some we're actually going to leave in the polytunnel. We're going to cut them back in the same sort of way. We're going to put layers of fleece over to try and protect them and to keep them alive in that sort of way. So it'll be quite interesting to see how many of these we're able to keep alive during the winter. Now the, the ones that we've harvested, the lovely chilies that we've harvested, we're now going to take into the house and we're going to start processing them. And we're going to show you the ways that we try to preserve our chilies. Thank you. We've come inside the house now and we are preserving, we're starting to preserve our chilies. Here you can see Nudge in front of us is using one of the techniques that we do to preserve our chilies. If our chilies are going to be used quite soon, then we often just put them inside Ziploc bags in the fridge and take them out as and when required. Sometimes we freeze our chilies, but the way that Nadji is doing it in front of us at the moment, she's preparing to use the dehydrator. You can see that we've got a lovely collection of chilies in the bowl at the back, and then in front of us Nadji is actually processing these chilies, cutting them in half, removing the stalks, taking the seeds out, and putting them into a pile here, ready to go into the dehydrator. This is a, probably our favoured way of preserving the chilies. So these will very shortly be going into the dehydrator. So our chilies then have been put into the dehydrator. We've got four trays of chilies. We're going to have a lovely lot of chilies to last us through the winter, particularly going to be useful next February for the February challenge. The dehydrator is probably going to be set for 8 to 10 hours initially and then we will see what they're like at the end of that period. So hopefully we'll have a lovely lot of chillers. Thank you so much for watching our video. Hope that you're able to grow some chillers next year and that you're able to preserve your chillers in the same sort of way. Thank you for watching. Thank you.